Hey guys, I'm Adam. I'm Carrie. And we're here in Elkhart, Indiana, founded in 1831, the RV capital of the world. No, Adam, the band instrument capital of the world. Guys, we're gonna have some fun. They're also known for having the world's only superhero museum. So let's go. All right, so what you guys are gonna see is over 80 years worth of comic book history. It includes comic books, action figures, TV and movie memorabilia, animation, all different kinds of cool stuff like that. This side is Marvel, that side is DC and independent, and then we have our arcade area over there. That's free with your admission, so you can play as much as you'd like. Just hit start on the games. And then we have our gift shop area to grab something to remember us by. Uh, a little bit about us. We've been featured on a dozen different TV shows, American Pickers, Fast and Loud, Toy Hunter. And one of the reasons for that is because our curator, Alan, is one of the foremost experts when it comes to comic books and superheroes. Those cabinets over there, they go down, they come back the other side. That's our archives. And there are 75,000 comics over there. So we're curating one of the biggest comic book collections in the world here at the only superhero museum in the world. Marvel, it's a both in timeline order. So Marvel's gonna start right over here with Timely Comics. And DC is going to start with Superman in 1938, Action Comics number one, as he was the very first comic book superhero. So right over here, you have the smallest comic books that were ever made. There's actually over 40 pages of readable material in each one of those. They were sold in gumball machines in 1966. And then kids would get their magnifying glasses out and try to read them. So a little... Yeah, right? <laughs> So from our smallest thing to our biggest thing, we have a nine and a half foot over 600 pound Hulk. He was featured on the red carpet for the Avengers movie. So he greeted the celebrities as they came in to watch that. Yep, and the second most asked question in the museum, is he to scale? And yes, this is the size you would see if Hulk was walking down the street. But if you follow me this way, I'll show you where Marvel starts, but you'll see stuff like this, Captain America, 1979, played by Red Brown and a really weird Captain America movie. And then we have uh, comic book panels on the walls by some of the greats like Jack Kirby and Bill Everett. Uh, Captain America's shield from Captain America, the first Avenger used by Chris Evans in the movie. So that's a real shield right there. Um, signed on the back by the cast and Stan Lee. But you'll see cool uh, toys. Like this is the very first Marvel toy that was ever put out. It's just a telephone that says Marvel on it. I have to tell kids that that's a telephone. I like how you have Funko Pop stuff mixed in. Too. Yeah, yeah. Yes. We got old Funko stuff. Pop we got new stuff. Yeah. yeah. I mean, because once you start collecting, it never ends, right? right? No, no. And we're here to preserve comic book history. So exactly. we got we to exactly. exactly. buy all of the things. Exactly. So I'll show you one more thing uh, and then uh, I'll let you guys uh, wander around. But I like to show people this because uh, you could easily walk by this and not realize what it is. It's a movie poster, right? It's telling you that May 3rd, 2002, the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movie is coming out. But this poster was released early 2001. Early 2001. They had to discontinue this poster after 9-11 because you can see the Twin Towers in his eyes. So in the trailer for the movie, he actually spins a web between the Twin Towers and catches an out-of-control helicopter. And they had to take that out of the trailer, take it out of the movie, and discontinue this poster. And guys, we get the back of the... Uh shield right here autographed by the cast of the movie we've got the cool pictures of the cast autographing it including stan lee desk of alan bellman yes alan bellman yes very cool so let's uh can wander around we saw some of the cases over here you can check out this case that we saw we got a captain america pot right there Got some cool Funko stuff. Every one of them seems to have a Funko in it, too. Oh, the Doctor Doom mask is sick. Herbie Funko Pop right there. Some very cool autograph stuff. Some cool Captain America stuff up here. We've got the Ghost Rider Hell Cycle from the film. Nicolas Cage, one of my favorites. Check it out. Behind you, baby. You can get a picture of yourself sitting on this motorcycle. She Hulk costume. From yep, from 1991. Ooh, Thor. Yeah, we got history of Thor right here. Some really cool stuff. Ha ha. The frog right there, guys. We got the frog of thunder. Cool Funko Pop for that one, too. And then it looks like 
And then over here we got the yeah. Thor Dorbs. Ooh, and we have a uh, Thor uh, Funko Pop in there. Look at that, guys. We got a Spider-Man Funko Pop. A Spider-Man uh, soda. soda. Pretty cool. Mixed in. I'm going to tell him in the front that we need to... He needs to get the uh, Frog of Thunder Funko Pop. Tony Stark. The OG Iron Man, the one that started my whole collection right there. There you go. Funko yes, Pop. We got proof that Tony Stark has a heart. Yeah. I need to get one of those. That's a pretty cool figure. Yeah, it's like crystal. And I have that Legends figure behind there. Yeah. Some little iron man comics and some iron man toys down here we got some more iron man we got the hulk buster right there got modok some pretty the cool ones guys the first iron man from 1963 yep, how they first styled him he looks very anime yes got iron yes. man some iron man helmets through the years then we have yeah, we got Colossus, Colossus, Dark Phoenix, Juggernaut, Magneto, Cyclops. They're all here. <laughs> and then we move into Doctor Strange, the first Doctor Strange in 1963 as well. And we got a couple more Funko Pops over here. We've got Iron Man from Iron Man 2. This is from the opening of the movie. It's definitely cool. And we've got your 65 Iron Man Shelby Cobra, where Robert Downey Jr. landed in the first Iron Man film. Check it out. Such a cool movie prop. You can see some of the zip ties that are holding it together in there. Such a cool car. So cool how they did it. And there's the scene from the movie. And we got Nick Fury costume from Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. from 1998 right here. Pretty cool. Tales from the Crypt. Got some of the OG original comics in here. Very, very cool. This is the very first action figure. Captain Action. You got some cool stuff Pretty in there. Pretty cool. I didn't even know they had a Captain Action Funko Pop. Yes. That's insane. I've never seen that one before. Huh. Definitely on the hunt for Captain Action. And guys, as we're walking here, over 75,000 comic books yes. just in this whole entire, I mean, this whole thing. Just loaded with comics. Captain America, everything. And I mean, just look at the Mego figures. Mego figures are sick. We've got some the first Marvel toys. We got some cool phones, Spider Man and Wolverine. Carrie pointed out the awesome lunch boxes in here. Now we're in the DC section. Composite Superman. Superman versus Muhammad Ali. That's a rare one. There's a crystal. And there's some uh, Funko minis. Superman, Supergirl. Pretty solid. Fortress of Solitude playset, the original one. Superman, Mr. Potato Head. Superman action comics. We have some Batman, the OG. Ocean repellent bat sprays. Ooh, Surf's Up Batman and Surf's Up Joker, the OG Batmobile. Got some cool OG Batman stuff right here. Guys, we do. We have a Funko Papa Batmite as well as a Funko Soda Batmite. It's like you said, when you collect, you collect. Lots of Funko Pops over here, guys. Thundar, Princess Ariel, Ula the Monk. I got that set at home. Look at all of these. That's because when you have the celebrities in here, that's the best yes. thing to have them autograph. There he is, the Flash. They're all posing in front of the whole what we saw when we first came out. And these are just Silver Surfer, Amphibian Man, Napoleon Dynamite, Robin, Underminer, Space Ghost, Jay Garrick. I mean, guys, these autographs are ridiculous. Yes. Here. We even got Cliff. Cliff! Oh, yeah. Flash cakes. Oh, there's a flash pop. 
He's got a Flash PX previews and a Flash yeah, Funko so Soda right there. Jay Garrick autograph right there and a Jay Garrick Dorbs. The Superman costume. That's Henry Cavill. No, that's just a statue. Yes. Like from the movies. That's what he had said at the beginning. But these were statues that were at the openings of, uh, like, this was Justice League. Yes. That's what he was the saying. The movie, yeah. yeah. The premieres. And we got Shazam slash Captain Marvel. I know that's not a pop, but I can't remember what kind Those of are the I DC know. Funko Mystery yes. Minis. Yeah. The cute ones that all look kind of like kids. The costume I Gail, have. Yeah, Gail Godot as uh, Wonder Woman right there. Pretty cool. We'll look at that when we get to that side. We got over here from All Star Comics, so we have some of the crazy characters. Uh, you know, Hawkman, the Atom. Aquaman. Yeah. We got Aquaman. Aquaman and the shark. Great We've got the shark. Green Arrow. We've got a Funko Soda and some minis. We've got the Green Arrow Dorbs down there. Plastic Man, uh, Funko Pop, plus some other cool stuff. Then we move it, over is there here. A cheetah woman or something? I used to have this, the Wonder Woman and the Invisible Jet Funko Pop. Yeah, first cheetah in 1943. From the Wonder Woman movies. Yep. There's some cool Wonder Woman stuff. Cindy Pop's in there. And there's a cool Invisible Jet, Invisible Plane replica. And then, as I said, the Funko Pop. Up there. Yes, that's okay. There's the pop. Superman oh. outfit. We got some Batgirl stuff over here. We got like the Batgirl cycle. We got a Batgirl costume, which is pretty solid. We've got a little area dedicated to Saturday morning cartoons and animation cells from Wonder Twins, Hulk. Some very cool stuff over here. Just some animation from some of the original, original cartoons hidden in the corner. We have a Justice League statue that I assume went with the Superman statue at the premiere of the Justice League. And this is Adam West's personal Batman costume that he wore for personal appearances during the 70s and 80s. The boots are from the 66 to 68 series. Rest in peace, Adam West, one of my favorite actors and favorite Batmans. I have him tattooed as Mayor like West. The shoes. I have him tattooed as uh, Mayor West on my leg. And we got Batmobile with some penguins in it. Ha ha. Love the meaning to that. That's funny. And then uh, we got some original stuff from Batman from Adam West. And the Batmobile with penguins in it. Did you see that? Yes. And then the Riddler costume that was used in Batman Forever by Jim Carrey is right here. One of the gloves has fallen off. I'm not I'm not a big DC comic guy as much as I am Marvel. Uh, so I do know about a lot of it, but some of the more like obscure. Yeah, some of the more obscure stuff I don't know. Like here's some Batman Forever, Batman in order with some I of the figures. The Batman movie with Penguin in it. Yeah, Batman Returns. It was, was that what it was? Yep. Batman Returns. We got some cool figures, some Justice League, Peacemaker. Mantis, The Flash, Aquaman. Well, this is Dean Kane's Superman costume from Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman. So the booth is just for show, but the costume was Dean Kane's costume. And then we've got some cool uh, Migos and Justice League stuff over here. Hall of Justice. In a uh, future video, I want to show y'all the building that actually looks like the Hall of Justice in real life. Well, the one it was modeled after that's yes, in Cincinnati. That's in Cincinnati. Yeah. And then some of the collectible toys from the original Batman series. We've got ah, Super Twins. Yep. I did that in our video, too. Yes, and we have the... Pounded. We also have the Wonder Twins um, Pops right there. I was going to say three-pack. Yeah, we have one like that, and then we have these sodas here. Yes. And those are pretty and solid. There's a Superman, a Super Friends Batman. Yeah, autograph there. Oh, the greatest what American superhero was a TV show. Oh. It was in the early 80s. I watched repeats. I actually, funny enough, guys, a little God, backstage that note. That makes me feel old. The TV guy yeah. book that they used to send out. 
a little backstage secret is that I actually have this costume at home and I've never worn it for a video yet. Really? So you guys rack oh, wow. up if you don't know who the greatest American superhero is. But uh, it was an absolutely uh, And let him show. know down below if you want him to bring out that costume. Dress up like the greatest American superhero, Johnny Quest. Space Ghost, coast oh, to coast. Brack, Brack, Mantis. Oh man, that's some cool stuff. Grape Ape soda, Jabberjaw soda. Ooh, we got some cool stuff Brad, there. I really like this. Yeah, yeah. Tundra. That I have to say, that was one of my very uh, favorite Captain Caveman. Yes, yeah. my favorite cartoons that I've watched. Yeah, that was Saturday a Tom Nights. Cook thing too. Loved it. That was Tom Cook stuff too. Oh, is it? Yep. And so was like uh, I believe Thundar and all them. They're all Tom Cook. From really? Hanna yeah, from Hanna Barbera. I absolutely, utterly loved Captain Cave. Yeah, Thundar the Barbarian was Jack Kirby and Tom Cook. That's sweet. Yeah, Dino Mutt, Birdman. We've got a bunch of collectible cups, which you know me and Carrie really like cups. We actually have cups are really cool. Some of those cups at home. So. Yeah, the cups are cool. Yes. And then we've got some cool Hot Wheels of different superheroes. They have mixed in. that look like <coughs> spiders. Yeah. There's the invisible jet. I love that. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. It's, there's nothing in it. Yeah. The only time you can sell something <laughs> it's just that there is shape. literally nothing. Yeah, it's just a shape of a jet. It's there. Then we've got Whoa, some Popeye right? stuff, the Phantom. This is the independent section we're on right now, starting to get into over here. The Green Hornet and Kano. Love it. There's a Green Hornet pop. And we move over here and we've got some uh, stuff right here. Some comics, some spawn, some independent mixed with comic. We got le some cool Lego sets. Look at the, uh, the action comics cover done in Legos is pretty sick. <laughs> there he is, guys. And this was the shirt that Sheldon wore. And then we've got one of his minis right there. That's pretty cool. We've got the Lone Ranger costume that Clayton Moore wore on a guest appearances right there. That's pretty cool. Behind us over here, we've got uh, some Archie Flash Mighty Mouse and Gold Key. We got a Flash Gordon soda, some cool autograph stuff, some Archie stuff. We've underdog got an soda. underdog soda, some cool underdog and Mighty Mouse stuff. Very cool. Rocketeer. Can't do it without the, the Rocketeer. Bunny, uh, We've got some cool Bugs Bunny comics and Walt Disney comics right this here. This is funnier than I don't know what. This is the original Tick costume. From, from the from series, yeah. Series, yes. Yeah, Patrick Warburton. Warburton. I thought it was funny. Okay. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Pretty cool. The crotch is kind of blown out. Yeah, I was going to say the crotch looks We're like We're having the crotch. Cool. And then we just have animation and art all over the walls here. All over the walls. Cool. Over here, we've got stuff from uh, Six Million Dollar Man, Battle of the Planets. Some what stuff I'm not from? I'm not very familiar with a lot of this stuff. This, some of this is independent stuff. You know, down here, you've got Mad Magazine and their funny figures of yes. like DC characters and stuff. And Spy versus Spy. Right. And then this stuff, I can assume it's that I know that's six million dollar man stuff, but I don't really know much about some of these. This is stuff like I have friends that would know about, but I don't know much about it. Like so we have Thundercats, yeah. um, The Tick, Gru, I know Gru. Bo. Um, we know about uh, G.I. Joe, of course, or Star Wars Teenage stuff. Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, or we got some cool Dungeons and Dragons yeah. stuff under I here. I didn't realize they had like figures like that. Oh yeah, they got all sorts of Dungeons and Dragons stuff. Over here we got more than meets the eye, the Transformers. We got some cool stuff over here. Some OG Transformers. Very 
Very cool. There's sound wave back there. Oh, these are sick. So far to me, this is, other than the Adam oh, West the stuff, boomers. that's what I've been looking at. I remember those. This, and I said that this is probably, other than the Adam West stuff, the most impressive part. Yeah. Look at the Transformer Scooby-Doo mystery machine, Carrie. And we've got some comics over here. We've got The Crow, some Simpsons stuff. Just kind of paying tribute to everything. Just, you know, pop culture and collectibles. Yeah, I, was say, I, I noticed that set. This dude's like me, a, a, collector, yeah. a collector of all, a completionist of none. And then we've, of course, Look got... This. Heroes figures. I've never seen those. All the Bing, Big Bang Theory. Bobbleheads and they Bobble have heads and pops. some of the pops back there, yes. And then there's Luther and Claus. From uh, Umbrella Academy. Very cool. We've got a couple little things for the boys. Oh, Adam, what's your next love? Pez. Yeah, we got some <laughs> Pez over here, some cups from Taco Bell. We've got some different pop Pez. We got some view viewmaster stuff down here going all the way down to some of the original stuff all right guys it was fun i really had a lot of fun here we appreciate them giving us the little tour yes. we want to show you the little gift shop and arcade area that's all free with entrance that they have over here as well as some toys and t-shirts guys hope you had fun with us because uh, carrie and i had a lot of fun over here it's an awesome place Elkhart, Indiana. I'll leave all the details in the description. And then, now, we're headed. I found a really cool restaurant for us to go to get something to eat. Oh, yeah, the Flippin' Cow. So we'll see you there. <laughs>Flipping cow, some delicious burgers. Yes, very uh, delicious burgers. Beautiful place as you saw it on the lake. Ooh.